Are you thinking about buying a home in Calgary and have no idea about the buying process? Don't worry. I'm going to walk you through the whole process of buying a home in Calgary from beginning to end. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cameron Faisal and I am a real estate agent with Urban Realty in Calgary, Alberta. Today we are going to talk about the entire process of buying a home, whether it's a single family, duplex, townhouse or a condo in Calgary, Alberta. So here is my eight step home buying process. Step number one, pre-approval. If you are going through a mortgage to buy a home, then you need to go through the pre-approval process. Usually the pre-approvals are done through lending institutions, for example, banks or mortgage brokers. Mortgage brokers are gonna give you relatively better interest rate as well as more option for your mortgage. These mortgage brokers will assess your income, your assets, your liabilities, and then how much you are putting as down payment for the buying of your home, and then will come up with how much you can afford. Now in a seller's market, which we currently are in the beginning of 2022, majority of the sellers would prefer the offers uh, with pre-approval, especially uh, in a multi-offer situation. Therefore, pre-approval certainly adds value to your offer. Also, when you do a pre-approval through a uh, lending institution, they will lock an interest rate for you, usually for 120 days. And therefore, if there's any change in the interest rate, you will still get the rate for which you've been approved. Step number two, hiring a realtor. This is an important step as you would like to hire the right person as your realtor. Someone who you can be open with, someone who you can trust, and someone who can take you through the whole process of buying a home. It is always recommended that even if you know a realtor personally or through a reference, still talk to at least three to four realtors and see what they can offer you. Once you find that right person, you need to sit down with them and go through all of your priorities for a home. Which communities you would like to search for a home how long you're gonna stay in that home, and then whether it's gonna be your primary residence or a rental property. All of this information help us as a realtor to find a right home for you. Once your realtor understand your requirements, your do's and don'ts, they will set up an account for you in an MLS online listing system called Pillar 9. And they will put all of that criteria in that system. You will receive property listing online through emails and it is always recommended that you thoroughly go through those listings and select the one that you would like to view. Now the properties that you would choose for viewing your realtor will arrange the viewing of those properties depending on your schedule as well as the seller schedule. You can view as many properties as you would like however one thing that I always recommend to my buyer clients is that only arrange four to five viewings per day. The process of viewing continues till you find a property on which you would like to put an offer. This takes us to step number four, which is writing an offer. Once you really like a property and decide to purchase that property, you need to write an offer on that. Your real estate agent will help you to prepare this offer. This offer document, which we call offer to purchase, includes Purchase price, the date of possession, initial deposit, which will be part of your down payment, and some conditions. The typical conditions that we put in these offer to purchase documents are financing condition and home inspection. These conditions are added for your legal protection, so you can do your due diligence. So for example, for financing so that your mortgage broker or the lending institution can approve the mortgage for that particular property and for inspection so that if you find any issues with the property you can basically back off from the deal. Once you write the offer your realtor will present this offer to the seller's agent who will present it to the seller. This is where the actual negotiation starts. If the seller accepts the offer he or she will sign it and send it back to you. And now the deal is finalized. 
If they decided to reject the offer or put a counter offer, it will come back to you. Now you have to make a decision whether you wanted to put a new offer for a rejected offer or you wanted to re-counter the counter offer from the seller. This is where your realtor will help you in the negotiation process. When both parties agree to all the terms, the deal is finalized and the home is conditionally sold. This is the time when your realtor will submit the initial deposit to the seller's realtor. Step number five, completing your conditions. Once your offer is accepted and the property is conditionally sold, you need to work on your conditions right away as they need to be completed at the certain date for which you agreed upon. Typically in Calgary, uh, the financing and home inspection conditions, you require five to 10 business days, but it all depends on the market. For financing condition, you will need a copy of the purchase contract as well as copy of MLS listing and submit it to your lending institution or mortgage broker. For home inspection, you need to hire a certified home inspector who will complete the home inspection for you. One thing to mention here is the cost of home inspection is a buyer's expense. The home inspector will give you an official report that will include the findings of the inspection. Now, if during the inspection, uh, certain issues were found with the house, for example, leaking toilets or the furnace is not working, you may need to go back to the seller and renegotiate on the price, or you may want to pull back from the offer. Step number six is removing conditions. Now, if your finances are all approved and you are satisfied with the home inspection, you will sign a satisfaction of condition form. This form will be submitted to the seller as a written confirmation that you have satisfied your conditions and now the home will be unconditionally sold to you. Now, in a case that you do not meet your financing condition or you are not satisfied with the home inspection, you will sign a non-satisfaction of condition form and that will be submitted to the seller and the deal will be dead. You will get back your initial deposit in the next few weeks and then you can continue looking for other properties. Step number seven. Now, if the purchase is all finalized, this is the time that you will involve your real estate lawyer. Your real estate lawyer will help you with all the legal things of this transaction from uh, transfer of funds to uh, transfer of land title. For this, you need to meet your lawyer uh, typically one to two weeks prior to your possession date. And usually that meeting is up to an hour. Uh, you need to sign several legal documentation. And if you have any questions regarding the transfer process, this is the time that you can ask it from your lawyer. You as a buyer will be paying the fees for the lawyer. Uh, which generally are within the range of $800 to $1,200. Step number eight, which is the possession date. This is a big day for you as a buyer, as well as for us as your realtor. This is the day when you will be getting the keys to your property, normally around noon time. On the morning of that day, your lawyer has to transfer all the mortgage money as well as the down payment to the seller lawyer. Once the seller lawyer confirm that they have received all the money, the keys of the property will be released to you. When the keys are handed over to you, you are now officially the owner of your home. So these were my eight step process of buying a home in Calgary. I hope this was helpful to you. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I will try to upload new videos every week. This way you can learn about buying, selling and investing in Calgary. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.